1 Corinthians 12, 4-11 Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. God has given spiritual gifts to all of his people. These gifts strengthen their testimony to prove the reality of God's existence, goodness, and love. Different people have different gifts, which tend to coincide with their different personalities. For example, a person who loves to study the Bible will naturally tend to be a good Bible teacher, while a person who hates to see people suffer in pain and is willing to step out in faith and tell suffering people, I'm a Christian and I believe in prayer, may I pray for you, may have the gift of healing. Please note that they are called gifts of the Spirit for a reason. They are gifts, not curses, that are given for your good and the good of those whose lives you touch. Do not be afraid to ask God to give them to you and to teach you to operate in them effectively. It is a good thing for God's people to grow in the faith and power of God so they can reach lost people who will not believe in Him or come to Him any other way. There is no better way to prove God to an atheist or other unbeliever than to learn to operate in the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus himself made that very clear in John 5.36. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. John 10.36-38 Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, Thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe, that the Father is in me, and I in him. It also says in Mark 16.20, And they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. So you see that it is God's will that the truth of his existence and his word should be proven through the power of the gifts of the Spirit. Learning to operate effectively in these gifts takes prayer, time, and practice. The best place to get that practice is with other Christians who also want to explore and develop their own spiritual gifting. Now if you are to operate in the gifts of the Spirit, then you need the Spirit of God living in you. If you have never asked Jesus into your heart, then you can pray this simple prayer and start your relationship with God through Jesus. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life, and help me overcome sin in my life, and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Bible is filled with examples of people operating in the gifts of the Spirit. Get one and start reading it so you can learn more. And if you would like to read the story of Jesus' life straight through, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. It lays out the story chronologically, all in one book, to make it easier to read and understand. It is available at Amazon.com and at Lulu.com. I'll be continuing this study on the gifts of the Spirit for the next few weeks. Thank you for listening. 
may you learn to operate in the gifts of the Spirit.